Bone remodeling and repair are essential processes that help maintain the structural integrity of the skeletal system and enable the healing of bone injuries. These processes involve complex interplay of cells, signaling molecules and biomechanical factors. We're going to discuss an overview of bone remodeling and repair in today's video. So in terms of bone structure, bone tissue is composed of cells and a matrix of collagen and minerals, primarily calcium and phosphate. And this matrix is what gives the bone its strength and hardness. The bone is not a static structure, it's dynamic, so it's constantly undergoing remodeling and repair. So for bone remodeling, this is a continuous process that involves both bone resorption or breakdown and bone formation or creation. Osteoclasts are specialized cells responsible for bone resorption. They break down old damaged bone tissue. Osteoblasts are responsible for bone formation. They synthesize new bone tissue by depositing collagen and minerals in a controlled manner. Bone remodeling occurs at microscopic sites called remodeling units, which consist of osteoclasts and osteoblasts working together. Bone remodeling is tightly regulated by various factors, including hormones such as parathyroid hormone and calcitonin, also mechanical stress and local signaling molecules. Hormones play a crucial role in maintaining calcium balance in the body and regulating bone turnover. Mechanical stress such as weight bearing activity stimulates bone formation in response to increased demands. Now in terms of bone repair, when a bone is fractured or injured, the body initiates a bone repair process. So the first stage of bone repair is the formation of a hematoma, which is like a blood clot, at the site of the fracture and this provides a temporary stabilization. In the next stage, immune cells and osteoclasts remove the damaged tissue and new blood vessels are formed to deliver oxygen and nutrients to the area. Osteoblasts then begin to synthesize new bone tissue at the fracture site, gradually bridging the gap between broken bone ends. As the new bone is formed, it undergoes a remodeling process to reshape and strengthen it, similar to the continuous bone remodeling that occurs in healthy bones. There are a few factors which influence bone repair, and the success of the bone repair depends on factors such as the type and location of the fracture, the age and overall health of the patient, and the quality of the blood supply to the injured area. Proper alignment and immobilization of the fractured bone, usually in the form of a cast or surgical fixation, are crucial for successful healing. In cases of severe fractures, surgical procedures may be necessary to align the bone fragments and stabilize the fracture site. Bone grafts which involve transplanting bone tissue from one part of the body or a donor source can aid the healing of extensive bone defects. And in some cases, the use of orthopedic devices like pins, screws and plates may be required to support bone healing. So to summarize, bone remodeling and repair are both dynamic processes that ensure the integrity and functionality of the skeletal system. Now these processes are regulated by a complex interplay of factors and involve the coordinated action of specialized cells. When bones are injured, the body mobilizes repair mechanisms to heal and restore them, often with the assistance of clinical interventions where necessary. So we've made it to the end of the video. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you leave the 100 emoji if you've made it all the way to the end. And thank you very much for watching.